everybody, and welcome to SourceFed Nerd. I'm DJ Wildred. I'm Trisha Hirschberger. And we're here today to talk about the new Game of Thrones trailer for Yay! season four. Thrones, Thrones, Game of Thrones, Thrones, Game of Thrones. It's happening um, April 6th. They just officially announced that, oh so we know goodness. that. So the new trailer's out, and um, it looks wonderful. I w it looks huge. It looks amazingly epic. epic. I was surprised because they split book three mm -hmm. into seasons three and four, mm -hmm. and so this is only the back half of the book, and it looks insane. <laughs> Kind of. kind of. It's only kind of the back half of the book. Like the back half of uh, Storm of Swords, the third book, um, has a ton of stuff that happens in it, yeah. including the Red Wedding. Yeah. So like they push oh, so that they up, push and forward. that's in the first half, and now they're yeah. going to some storylines that you'll see in book four. Yeah. Um, I know that they're mixing it up on purpose to keep the book readers on their toes, which yeah. as a book reader, I am a huge fan of because I don't know what's going to happen. So you don't. It's, I have not read the books actually because I don't want to ruin the series. I love the series so much that I don't want to know what's happening mm -hmm. ahead of time. But you have read the books. Yeah, and I would say at this point, for anyone that has the same fears as DJ, go ahead and you can start reading the books from this point because it's different enough yeah. that it's not really spoiling anything. Um, the first season really held very, very true to the books and I feel like as we're going along we're getting a little bit, they're playing with it a little bit more, which nice. it's a different medium, you should. It's not necessarily like Walking Dead where they're completely off the map no. at this point. No, they're not completely off the map, but I'm, I'm concerned that they're going there. <laughs> So we'll see. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up. The Red Viper, I think, is the biggest thing in this trailer. I know you have no what, idea what I'm talking about. Is. But it the sounds cool. Prince, is that is that the cool guy that's with the staff and all that jazz? Prince Oberyn of Dorne. Because um, he looks cool. It's, you only see like 10 seconds of him, but he looks he's awesome. He's the one who says, tell the Lannisters they're not the only ones. That he looks events. amazing. But Ob Oberyn, Oberyn, I, I don't know how we'll to say his name because I've only ever read the book. No. Um, so I can't wait. And he'll probably say it with a Dornish accent. So that's probably what people are going to say isn't even how you really say it. So who knows? Um, but he looks awesome, and I'm very excited. I think he's, I mean, everyone's predicting he's the standout character of the next season for people that are show watchers, not book readers. For the 10 seconds he's in it, he's the standout of the trailer. It also looks like uh, bad omens for Tyrion, which uh, is expected. He went from completely self selfish to more selfless, and so now his life has to be ruined. Uh, I know, DJ, you were saying that he's the only good character. Well, I'm not, he's not the only, I was saying that if I lived in the Game of Thrones universe, mm -hmm. I would be very dead. If you, you look would at, be very if you well, look because at, because you're, uh, you're relating yourself to all the Starks. My favorite characters are like Ned and Rob, right, right. and I'd be super dead in this well, world. Well, book one sets you up that way. Yeah. To love yeah, the does. Starks and want to be a Stark. They all have good values. Yeah. They're trying to do right by their and they're family. they're super dead. For the most part. They're super dead. Um, I guess, spoiler <laughs> if you've not been keeping up, but fuck you. <laughs> Why haven't you been watching the show? In the trailer, it looks like uh, uh, Danny is is completing her transformation to being not completely pleasant. Ooh, okay, yeah. I like the way her that you said that. kind of like, that. hey, uh -huh. you can do it uh, uh, my way or be burned by fire. And the dragon at the beginning yep. looks huge. Massive growth spurt. They're, They're in puberty growing. now. Your They're in puberty. They're growing up. Yeah, uh, which is kind of terrifying uh, that she's. Super terrifying. That she, Danny's kind of reaching a, a bitchy phase and then her dragons are at the well, peak of their. She's coming into her own. Jorah's trying to give her some, hey, uh, chill the fuck out advice. Hey, <laughs> she's a woman on a mission. I know, and I and I love Danny. I'm hoping, I'm hoping she, she like. I don't know. Uh, you think she's is, gonna get to Westeros this season? No, probably not this season. I have a feeling, I mean, there's seven seasons. I have a feeling it's gonna be very end. I am excited to hopefully see her dragons uh, fry uh, the White Walkers. I'm stoked on oh, that. Oh, okay. Because they've talked about dragon fire and fire is the way you'd be, and it's like, well, she's got dragons. Put you know? ideas together, friend. Uh, I was actually, at one point, uh, again, I guess spoilers, I thought, <laughs> Um, Spoilers from the show, not from the book. I realize because this, and they talk about it in the trailer actually, mm -hmm. I was, um, uh, uh, th how there's good guys on both sides. Okay. And I thought they were setting us up. Like if you look at the uh, the Battle of Blackwater, yeah. how it's like, oh, Tyrion, but I don't like uh, Joffrey. Well, and, yeah, they uh, I don't in like any war, there's good and bad exactly. on both sides. Uh, uh, and so I thought it was gonna be like Rob was gonna, because it's kind of based on history, and I'm a little familiar with uh, the, the history of the War of the Roses. And so I thought Rob was gonna get the throne, and okay. then Danny was gonna come in, and it was gonna be a big crisis of conscience of like, who do I root no. for? And no. that obviously didn't happen. No, that's <laughs> uh, that's not super happen. not gonna happen. How do you feel about uh, the war in the north? Winter be coming? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It looks like there's a lot of battles in this season. Mm -hmm. It looks like there's a bunch of stuff. I don't know. It looks so like uh, uh, Jon Snow hooks back up with uh, with his bros, 
And he's kind of like, okay. hey, watch out for the north because they'll screw you over if they get over the wall. I remember the wildlings, they're, co they're coming. Yeah, they'd and they've, they've got huge numbers and they've got giants. If you could think of one thing you'd really like to see happen this season, what would it be? Oh, um, oh, uh, Ned come back. Bring in Stevie Nicks from American Ned Horror Story and have a resurrect Ned. What would I like to see this season? I don't know. I'd like to see Danny listen to Jorah. Okay. And not uh, 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 Ken with the long hair. What's his face? Oh, oh my God. yeah. yeah. Like, I, like she needs to listen to the old dudes because the old dudes Harvey know Sith what's name. going on, and uh, young guy just wants to get in her pants. Kind of cute, not kind of cute guy. Yeah. Ooh. Can I also say uh, Arya and the Hound? Every sidekick Arya picks up has been awesome, and I, I think the Hound How is do you one feel of those. About the Hound? I, he's one of those people you love to hate. Like I, I, you start. To, he's like a lot of characters. You start to under, understand him more, and then I just think about him killing the Butcher's Boy, and it's like. Fuck uh, but then well, it's like, I still kind of like him. But I like Arya's, uh -huh. Arya's interactions. When Arya was interacting with older uh, Lannister was great. Mm. Uh, Lannister dad, Tywin. Tywin. When she was interacting, mm -hmm. those scenes with Tywin, which I, have, from what I understand, were not in the book, uh, were spectacular. And so I really yeah, love her the, Yeah, they absolutely weren't in the book. And it was, yeah. it was making me upset because <laughs> I didn't, so much is impacted by if everybody else knows where Arya is. Mm -hmm. um, and so I didn't like that she was there yeah. was, could, because they left it very up for interpretation yeah, maybe if Tywin knows, knows yeah. that it's her or not. And Tywin's a smart dude. Yeah. As somebody that's read the book. Yeah. Um, I'm There's trying to figure so out how much can that's I... about to happen that I can't talk about because I don't want to spoil anything. Whose story are you most excited about? Which story thread are you most excited about? Ooh, um, that is such a difficult question. Um, We'll see how far they go. It, it, it depends on how far they go into everybody's timelines. No. Because I know, and I don't want to say, but I know certain characters that have slow times coming up, but mm -hmm. they might zip through that. Yeah. Um, like this this part of the book uh, and moving into early book four is very interesting because there's, there's a lot of time where nothing's happening for certain okay. people. And obviously for the purposes of the show, they're probably going to fast forward through that stuff. Yeah. So I just don't know how far they're gonna go with everybody mm -hmm. because everyone really has really awesome epic things that are coming up. Yeah. Um, Which it's just a matter the of if they, if they get to there, they will. Um, I, this, is, this is gonna be, ooh, nope, this isn't a spoiler. Um, I'm excited to see Sansa Stark. What? Uh, yep, I'm gonna leave That's it there. That's the first time I've ever heard that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm leave it right there. Um, uh, because I, I would like cool. to see in the show, um, I feel like the audience hasn't really gotten to know Sansa yeah. all that well. Yeah, I, I'm like that she's evolved from somebody that I absolutely loathe to somebody I understand. That's a lot of people that yeah. watch the show really don't like Sansa. Yeah, because she, she was that bitchy 13 year old in the first yeah. season. It's just like, and, but now she's got the shit knocked out of her enough that she kind of understands <laughs> the world. I don't, a know that bit I'd go, I don't know that I'd go that far. Uh, she's been through some rough times. She's been, yeah. Her she's, bubble of happy world has, super been burst. has been burst. Yeah. <laughs> As we saw in the trailer, there's a ton of battles coming up, there's a lot I'm of action coming up. Um, as you know from Game of Thrones in general, lots of people be dying. Okay. Um, All right. So get ready for that. So whoever you be a like, lot of sex. we should have a death pool about who we think is going to eat it for those of us who haven't read the books. Oh, I like that. Let us know who you think is going to be the next person to die. No Unless you've read the books and then stay the fuck No out spoilers of it. from the book people because it will be more satisfying for you, book people, to watch everybody else's theories unfold no. without ruining it for Exactly. You. you get the same enjoyment as somebody who hasn't read the books watching the show by watching people speculate yeah. about you what's going to happen. live vicariously through them. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can click this annotation down here to see stuff we're doing on all of our channels. My name's Trisha Hirschberger. My name's DJ Wooldridge. Winter's coming, DJ. Winter is coming. I want to see those dragons fight those White Walkers. Okay. I want to see it. Probably not. See, she knows stuff. She probably knows that all the dragons died.